the original design, I believe, was built was based off the of crop dust. Part of this experiment is not for us to, it, to develop a new airplane, it's non-developmental, which means something that is commercial, off the shelf, already proven, already proven itself in its mission as, as crop dusting or it's proven itself as, uh, as flying combat missions. This airplane, this type of airplane is, is being used by other countries and they fly combat missions every day. And, in, and instead of where it would carry uh, spray to, to spray crops, they actually converted it so it carries more fuel, so it can stay airborne no a little bit way. longer. So the weapons would be mean? hanging, the weapons would be hanging right here on these pylons, okay. right? So these hard points, they call it hard points, mm -hmm. it's hard fixed point on a wing, okay. and this is where you'd be able to carry the weapons right here. Well, I'd carry a gun pod if I was going to shoot a gun. So this carries 50 caliber machine gun, so I could put that on there. It's a, generally a suppression weapon, right? So I would target things that are softer, some things that a bullet could penetrate. Vehicle, soft skin vehicle, not necessarily an armored vehicle. Okay. Personnel, if there were personnel out there to keep their heads down. Okay. Or potentially what a bullet could do to, you could picture what a bullet could do to a person. I could have a canister of rocket pods on there, mm -hmm. right? And they generally carry about seven per rocket pod. So I could shoot some rockets that would come out. Give me a little standoff. I don't have to get as close to the target. I can prosecute the target from a little further away. Okay. Or a rocket could fly in. It's got a little more of explosive power. And I could prosecute smaller targets, some hardened targets. Yep. Right? Yep. Uh, generally vehicles, things like that that would be moving around. That's what I would shoot. Uh, people in the open. If there were combat troops in the open, I could get some weapons effects because when the bomb, uh, when, the, when the rocket hits the ground, it blows up, kind of like a hand grenade. Right. You throw some frag around and kind of suppress the, uh, some individuals if they were running around as well. Yeah. And they have a variety of free fall bombs as well, right? Nice. 1,000 pound, 500 pound, 250 pound free fall bombs. Those can be either unguided or guided. The airplane will provide me a, 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 an accurate delivery so I could drop the bomb and it would accurately land within so many feet. Think of the things I could see now in a camera. If I have a specific television camera or if I have an infrared camera, and I can really try to go in and identify targets, right? Before we would guess, you'd see a tank, it would be a little hot blob on the screen. Okay. Now I could zoom in and tell you, probably, probably read something that's on there. I'd probably, I'd probably read a license plate and I'm on a vehicle. If we had, if we got close enough and we had enough, and we had the right angles, we'd probably be able to read a license plate. 